Hey guys, Ray here from 8-Bit Digital TV. Today I'm going to do an After Effects tutorial on advanced green screen keying. If you've ever done any green screen work, you've probably dealt with your green screen being too wrinkly, having a lot of shadows, or not being green enough. All of these things will make it harder to get a good key off the screen, and will make the end result look real amateur and bad. But even if you properly light your screen, you may still have some problems keying it. Today's After Effects tutorial is how to consistently get a good key, even in less than optimal conditions. That being said, you'll still want to do your best to get the screen flat and evenly lit because it'll mean less work in the end. I'm going to use some vintage footage from before we knew how to light things just to show you how versatile and effective this method is. So first thing we're going to do is prep our footage. Create a new comp for your footage if you haven't already and put your green screen footage on that timeline. I'm just going to drag and drop the green screen footage onto the new comp button to take care of both at once. The quickest way I can tell if a key is good is to put it in front of a bold color like red. Create a solid color layer by clicking on layer, new, and then solid or you can hit Control or Command Y. Make it pure red by clicking on the color swatch and set H or Hue to 0, S or Saturation to 100, and finally B to 100. Or you can just drag the color selection into the upper right hand corner, and then click OK. Drag and drop the red layer below your green screen footage. If you need to mask out areas around the green screen, go ahead and do that now by selecting the green screen layer, grabbing your pen tool, and masking it out. You may need to zoom out as well, but don't forget to zoom back in and switch back to your selection tool after you're done. Next thing we're going to talk about is a greener green screen. The more vibrant your green screen is, and the less wrinkly it is, the easier it is to key out or get rid of it. I'm not sure why most tutorials don't do anything about this, but this is where we're going to start. On the Effects and Presets panel, type in Select. Drag and drop the Selective Color effect onto your green screen layer. On the Colors drop-down, select Greens. Bring Cyan up to 100, Magenta to negative 100, Yellow to positive 100, and finally black to 100. Now compare that back to the original. Mmm, -hmm, that's really green. Depending on your footage, you may need to duplicate the effect once or twice by highlighting the selective color effect and then pressing Ctrl or Command D. But it doesn't need to be perfectly wrinkle free. Just be careful not to overdo it or it'll start turning other things green that aren't supposed to be. Next thing we're gonna do is key out the green screen. On the Effects and Presets panel, type in Key. Drag and drop the key light effect onto your green screen layer. Click the eyedropper for screen color and then click somewhere that's a pure green that's not a shadow. Change the view to Combine Matte, which shows you that white is on, black is off, and gray is your semi-transparent areas. This time click the swatch for screen color, and move the color marker slightly down, which makes it darker, and to the left, which desaturates it some. Just move it a bit to help remove some of the screen shadows. Now click OK. Raise the screen gain setting a bit to help eliminate more of the shadows, but don't push it any more than 115. Tweak the screen balance slightly to even out the whites. You want it somewhere between 40 and 60, but nothing too drastic. Under Screen Mat, raise Clip Black until the background starts to disappear, but no more than 15. Lower Clip White until most of the semi-transparency is gone from the white areas, but no less than 85. Raise Screen Despot White a little bit to fill in some of the holes in the white, somewhere around 5. Finally, change the view to Final Result. As you can see, this looks pretty good and where most green screen tutorials leave off, but we can make it even better. Previously, we relied on Keylight's internal matte system, but now we're going to extract that matte and tweak it even more to remove the semi-transparency from the areas that shouldn't be. Go ahead and change the view setting back to Combine Matte. Pre-compose the green screen layer by clicking on Layer and Pre-compose, or you can hit Ctrl or Command, Shift, and C. Name it Green Screen. Choose Move All Attributes, and then check Open New Comp, and finally click OK. Create a new adjustment layer by going to Layer, New, Adjustment Layer, or you can hit Ctrl or Command, Alt, and Y. Rename it by expanding the Solid section, right-click, and then Rename, and set the name to Black Threshold. Change the Blend Mode for the Adjustment Layer to Darken, which makes it only use the areas that are darker than what's below it. Under the Effects and Presets panel, type Threshold. Threshold forces things to black or white depending on a given midpoint. Drop that onto the Adjustment Layer. Scrub the level setting down until the green screen area is completely black, but there is still some softness or gray areas between the black and white mats. Create another new adjustment layer by going to Layer, New, Adjustment Layer, or Control or Command, Alt, and Y. Go ahead and rename that to White Threshold. Change the blend mode for the adjustment layer to Lighten. This is like the darken except it only uses it if it's lighter than the layers below it. Drop another threshold onto this adjustment layer. Scrub the level up or down until the inside of the white mat is completely white, but there's still some softness to the edges between the black and white mats. Threshold is very rigid, which makes your edges really harsh, so we're going to soften that up a bit using a light blur. Create a new adjustment layer by going to Layer, New, Adjustment Layer, or you can Ctrl or Command, Alt, and Y. 
and rename it to Soften Matte. Under the Effects and Presets panel, type Gauss or Gauss, G-A-U-S-S, -S, and drop the Gaussian Blur effect onto the adjustment layer. Gaussian! <laughs> Gaussian Blur is the most common type of blur. Set the blurriness to somewhere around 3. Now you can see all the jagged edges are gone. Now that we have our mat tweaked, we need to apply that back to the green screen footage. Duplicate the green screen layer by highlighting it and pressing Ctrl or Command D. Highlight the top green screen layer and the three adjustment layers. I'm just going to shift click and click on soft and matte since the other layer was already selected. Then pre-compose them together by going to layer, pre-compose, or you can control or command shift and C. This time we're going to name it green screen matte. Since we selected multiple layers, move all attributes will automatically be selected. So just uncheck the open new comp box and click OK. Drag and drop the green screen layer above the green screen matte comp. Delete all the effects off that layer by highlighting them and pressing delete on the keyboard. You'll have to do them one at a time. In the effects and presets panel, type matte. Apply the set matte effect onto the green screen footage layer. Set take matte from layer to green screen matte. Since we set it up for black and white, we want to set use for matte to luminance. We don't actually want to see the matte, we just want to use it. So hide the green screen matte layer by clicking the eyeball icon for it. Since we split out the matte from key light, we keep the original colors rather than the ones that were highly processed by keying out the green screen. But unfortunately, this means that your footage probably has some green fringes and spill on it. This is what we're going to fix now by using a much less aggressive key. I picked up this technique from Andrew Kramer's tutorial on advanced soft keying. Highlight the green screen footage layer and pre-compose it by clicking layer and pre-compose or control or command shift and C. Set the name to remove green fringe. This time select leave all attributes. Check the open new comp box and click OK. Duplicate the green screen footage layer by highlighting it and pressing Ctrl or Command D. In the Effects and Presets panel, type Key. Apply the key light effect to the top layer, click the eyedropper for screen color, and pick a pure green color from the screen. In the Effects and Presets panel, type Channel. Apply the Channel Combiner effect to the top layer. Set From to Straight to Pre-Multiplied, which uses black as the color to combine, and then check Solid Alpha, which makes the Alpha channel have full opacity. Finally, set the Blend Mode to Color for the top layer, which uses the hue and saturation from the top layer with the bottom layer's luminance. If everything went right, all your green should now be gray. So click back over to the main comp, and you'll see that the green fringe is gone. Now, just throw in your background footage, color match it, and you're good to go. If you found this tutorial helpful, like it and let us know in the comments below. If you use this tutorial for one of your videos, then send us a link or even set it as a video response because we'd love to see it. Thanks for watching 8-Bit Digital TV. See us next time for more tutorials, skits, news, and reviews. Bye! Where am I? Am I in China? Look at that.